Hi, it's Carrie. Today I'm going to talk about automatic term mapping in PubMed. I think the average user in PubMed searches it the way they might search Google. So you might throw some terms in there like nursing, high cholesterol, educational interventions, which is fine, right? That's pretty fine. Let's click search. I'd like to tell you that there are things going on behind the scenes that may or may not keep you from getting good search results, and it's called automatic term mapping. PubMed is trying to be smart. It's taking your terms and mapping them to subject headings and keywords that it thinks you may have intended. The way you can see what's going on behind the scenes is to go to advanced here under the search box and go down to your search and click on the details chevron, which will expand your search and show you what happened. And we actually got nursing as a medical subject heading, and that's nursing as the field. We got nursing as a subheading, so that's okay too. And then we got a bunch of nursing keywords searching in all fields. Then we got hypercholesterolemia as a medical subject heading here, plus high cholesterol and hypercholesterolemia as keywords. And then we got some variations on education, education as a medical subheading, and educational status as a medical subject heading, education as a medical subject heading. And then with interventions, we got the medical subject heading methods, which is interesting. I'm sure there are some good results in here, but I really want you to know how to look behind the scenes when things happen. Definitely there are some idiosyncrasies to this. We'll go back to the home page just for the sake of starting from scratch. And if I were to type, oh, COVID, I want to see COVID literature, we're going to get approximately 299,000 results. But if I type COVID-19 in the very same search box, we're going to get 303,000 results, actually closer to 304,000 results. And the reason is because they both mapped differently. Let's go into advanced. And here we can see that COVID mapped to SARS-CoV-2 and COVID-19 as a mesh term. And then COVID-19 mapped, wow, to a lot of other terms that we did not see with the COVID search. So if you were searching for COVID literature, probably best to enter COVID-19, looks like. Now, sometimes this can work and sometimes it doesn't. Again, I'll go back to the home page and I'll just show you some other examples. Let's say we were aware of a drug called Promacta and we wanted to see some trials for the drug. So we can go there and then go to advanced and go to the search details and see that it actually mapped to the generic name of the drug as a supplementary concept as well as Promacta as a keyword and then clinical trials as topic with some other trial keywords here. So that worked okay. Let's say we were looking at nursing in infants whose mothers are HIV positive. And here we get some results. And we go into advanced and click on the search details chevron and see that again, it mapped to nursing the discipline. It did not map to breastfeeding as it used to do prior to say this year, which is 2022. So that's pretty interesting if you wanted to map to breastfeeding, you'd have to enter that as a mesh term or change your search. We'll try that. Let's click search and we'll go into advanced. And let's see the difference between one and the other was 702 versus 2700. And it actually did map to breastfeeding as the medical subject heading. So these results would probably be more relevant than these results. Although we did have nursing as keywords here. One more, let's say we were looking for Parkinson's and swallowing, which can often be a problem in Parkinson's patients. We'll click search and here we get some results. And if we go into the advanced area and look at our search details by clicking on the chevron, we will see that it did map to deglutition, but it also mapped to swallows as a medical subject heading. And I have news for you that's actually referring to the bird, the swallow. So if you were looking at these results and you saw some things come up about birds, you would know to look at your automatic term mapping and see what's going on. I wanted you to know about automatic term mapping. It's important to understand 
what's going on behind the scenes in PubMed. And sometimes this can help you, sometimes it can hinder you. If you're searching for literature in PubMed, good luck. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.